Hello again and uh, welcome to Ancient Rock Process UK and this is one of the stones I found I'm going to talk about this one in a minute but I just wanted to show you this one as well right because like it's not often you know you do see paintwork on some so let's get to this one and have a look and this one look at this uh, it's really smooth along here really smooth it's like a handle thing and if you see it chipped down here's chippings going down there yeah, and it's like a little pop thing here, smooth pop thing. Maybe show this another time and you see like it's been chipped into there. But this is what I like about it is it's a horse. It's a Neolithic horse. You see that? A painted Neolithic horse. So there you go. This river, well this one must have been out in the rain, but natural process. And if you look at the colouring where on the rock where they hold it, it sort of changes, they they smear it in some sort of thing. Don't know what it is. But yeah. You know, or it's well worn where I've always held it and have used it for something, but yeah, look at that one bit of ancient rock art with a horse amazing anyway back to the one I was talking about right this one now like I said there's hundreds of these hundreds of these on top of the ground where the root uh, the trees have fallen over under the roots and um, I said like it must have been the sacrificial site now I've watched programs in the sacrificial sites where they've used uh, you know they used to choose one of the young girls or boys and they'd be chosen for sacrificial and they'd use a rock to sacrifice them with now look at this it's not pounded it's not pounded anywhere not pounded anywhere around there but the same as the other rock it's got this dark dark coating I don't know what it is like a dark coating they do how they done it they must have been amazing people heat it burn it melt it and melt it onto there as you can see they chip away to it now there's going to be things on here that you're going to see and I see like blood stains and I won't say like I had a little tiny microscope even though I washed these you can see in the very fine cracks what is it 60 times 30 it goes down to really tiny one and you zoom right in like your fingernail right into the nitty gritty of it and uh, yeah so sort of little fine hairs and I know the difference between twigs fine hairs roots or whatever I've been on a building dug out enough holes to find out in the last I'm not going to say how old I am but a little bit older and these little painting things on here as well and there's more on here which we'll go through and hopefully people will see it but I say it was a sacrificial place like if you see the other one the big rock one I done it's a big rock and round it there's thousands of these buried And if anybody knows about like um, using weapons and things like that, what they used to do, uh, well, in the weapons, they make a little groove in it because like when it's stuck in, they couldn't pull it out. So they made a groove to stop the suction. And that's where you like you got these holes in here. A stop suction when it does it, which you'll see around the edges in a little bit. And I'll show you how it's been held, held, hold, and I held it, hold it, and I used to like choose the person, it would come to the time to the year and then they drink this magic potion and then a clubman on the back like I've seen on the others 
Um, not the others on um, yeah, history programs or whatever. But you've got to remember these are made by natural processes. I'm still looking for some tables and chairs out there. And I uh, haven't found none yet, but maybe I will be. Uh, every time I look at these, I see something different. Around here, this is like this. Around here, and it seems like the blood was held down here, you know, go whack when they done it. And goes around. And uh, in here, I saw the hairs with a real fine microscope. And like I said, I know about twigs and leaves or whatever you want to say. And don't forget they've been washed and they're very fine. And the way I see it to be held before I carry on any further is like see this bit up here where this sort of right it is. Anybody can make anything out of writing the marks on it. But then again, they won't say it, will they? Because these do not exist. Can you imagine if they said they did? Well, there'll be some questions asked then. You said they never existed. You yeah, will, you, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but there's millions of people out there that believe they did. And there's millions of people out there who've got things that say they did. They carved them millions of years ago, or hundreds of thousands of years ago. Could be millions. I don't know. But, who knows? Nah, they couldn't have done. They didn't have the brain. They were thick. So who could do things like this out of rock? I don't know. But anyway, back to uh, where they held it. Here, see this bit? It's smooth. The hand goes over there. The thumb goes into there. The other part goes into the fits. You can see it's not being smashed in with nothing, and I reckon these are blood marks down here and round the edges. These old blood marks of sacrificial. So they'd have the thing, give them the drink. Dunk. I've seen that on other programs. You know, history programs of where it's been on the TV. Was it Blaze or Ancient, no, Ancient Aliens? Because it's well, it is about this sort of stuff. But it wasn't about prehistoric or how they used to do it. So yeah, there you go. What do you reckon? And they burnt this in, or they've used it loads of times. They're my ideas anyway. Well, of course, I'm not qualified. But it's just sometimes people 
stumble across things and I notice what other people don't notice. You think? But that's what I reckon it's made for. And why are there so many of this portable rock art? where I found this site strange isn't it I think it's a little bit turned more just in case you can see things that I can't because I'm noticing more and more I, I put it on the camera <laughs> that's when you're stretching Don't forget to subscribe so I can get these out there because like everybody else says subscribe because it sort of helps the videos or get them out there so people can see them. Because there is a lot to do and it takes a lot of time, you know. Sometimes I think can't be bothered, you know. People are not taking notice. But I know the real so I've got to push myself to go, come on, do it. People would like to see this. Other people have got it. Other people have seen it. Other people believe in it. Other people know it's real. And that's what I'm trying to prove. It's real. Same as everybody else. Well, millions of us. Except for the ones who's got exams, how can they admit it's real? They've been denying it all this time. They can't just turn up and go, okay. Yes, they can. Of course, they can. Why not? Why can't you? Somebody will one day. They will go, yes, these people are right. They are totally right. Okay, let's go back to um, the people who say you're wrong. Let's give them the magic potion at the right time of the year. Dunk. Uh, and that's where I've used it because there's a different colour of stone they've moulded it on how they melted stuff or something see that there is paint work in there and I say like there's blood work in there as well so please subscribe so we can get these out there get the world to know about them and there will be someone out there and go yes they are made by man many thousands of years ago so anyway thank you and see you again sometime